Now I've reviewed quite a few pairs of barefoot shoes or well, quite a lot of pairs of barefoot shoes. And the one thing I think that stops most people from making the leap to the barefoot lifestyle is the cost. Most barefoot shoes cost north of 100 pounds. So what I'm about to tell you, you may find quite shocking. I've just ordered a pair of barefoot shoes for 20 pound. Yes, 20 pound. I ordered them yesterday and they literally arrived today. So then it was more mental that they're only 20 pound or they literally arrived in less than 24 hours. So here they are. They have about 20 different colors online. I went for the least offensive. I think it's the, the charcoal gray one. You can see they're, they're saving money on the no shoe box. First impressions, they don't actually look too bad to be honest. Real grip on the bottom and it kind of almost looks like a Vibram-esque style on the shoe here. To me, they kind of just look like a regular gym shoe, which is what I'm gonna be using them for. So let's just quickly try them on and get a, a feel for them before we start off the real review. Interesting. Let me see if you can see on the camera, but it's kind of like a scuba shoe. Your foot's going in and it goes around. So almost like you don't need the laces. Okay, first impressions, pretty darn good to be honest. I was skeptical for the price that the material is gonna be terrible, they might be uncomfortable, but just putting them on my feet right now, they feel pretty good to be honest. As usual, I'll wear these for the next couple of weeks, wear them to the gym, wear them out and about, really test them and see what they're like after a couple of weeks and we'll get back to you and see if they're really worth 20 pound, which I think they are, because that's like five times cheaper than barefoot shoes. It's mad. Anyway, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. So it's been quite some time since I last saw you guys. Even my beard's changed color for autumn. But anyway, let's get to the review. As always with this shoe review, I'm gonna be discussing the pros, the cons, and my overall thoughts on the shoe and whether they're worth 20 quid, which in today's economy is probably what it costs to boil your kettle. Pros, so let's first start with comfort and they are comfy, so much so they actually feel like a nice warm pair of slippers that you could wear around the house. This makes them perfect for exercising and wearing to the gym, which is the primary purpose of why I bought the shoe. The barefoot base means that you can squat and deadlift in these shoes without risking slipping on the surface if you usually deadlift and squat in socks, which I do and a lot of people at my gym do do, do do. Not only do they prevent you from slipping, they also add extra support and grip when deadlifting and squatting, which is a great bonus. They also come in about 20 different colors. Vibrant red for the exciting outgoing types and black and gray for the, um, you know, the less exciting types. And finally, by no means least, the price, 20 quid. Absolutely mental. For barefoot shoes alone, that is like a fifth of the cost of regular barefoot shoes. And in today's prices, probably about 10 minutes with the central heating on. Let's get to the cons. Okay, so I know looks aren't everything, but they are fairly important. And I know I said these are quite stylish and colorful in the pro section, but that is until you see them head on. This happened the first time I wore them in the gym. I was confidently squatting, enjoying myself, and then I caught a glimpse of myself front on in the mirror, and what I thought was a stylish gym shoe from front on miraculously turned into what quite looked like a frightening pair of vibrant five finger shoes. I'm actually not quite sure why they do this, because they're just regular shoes inside. It's not like your feet go into finger holes or anything like that. It's literally purely aesthetics and it's quite hard to look at. Also style related, the laces are completely aesthetic, like they're not necessary. The shoe is basically just a plimp sole. So if you took the laces and this rubber section off here, like I don't wanna ruin the shoes, you'd literally just be left with a weird kind of gray slipper, which looking at them now makes me realize why I thought they kind of felt like slippers. They're basically slippers in disguise, but believe it or not, the aesthetics is not the biggest con I found when wearing these shoes. The biggest con is actually the insoles themselves. 
So if you take the insole out, you realize these aren't actually flat barefoot insoles. You can see here that it's raised on the side for added arch support. And I'm not pretending to be some kind of barefoot specialist, doctor, connoisseur, but that's not a barefoot shoe. That's like a regular shoe insole. Now, after I noticed this, I thought I'm still gonna wear the shoe anyway, even though it has like a bit of a sidestep on. It can't make that much of a difference. So I walked to my gym, which is about an hour walk. And by the time I walked back, I was already experiencing knee pain. So wearing these shoes with the insoles provided pretty much caused my knees to start flaring up, which is the main reason I started wearing barefoot shoes in the first place. I did try and switch some insoles from my other barefoot shoes, but I couldn't quite find a pair to fit inside the shoe properly. So I've had to order some online and they should be arriving in a few days and they cost about five pounds. Several days later. Okay, so it's a few days later and the insoles have arrived and I've had them in the shoe and they actually feel pretty decent and I haven't experienced any knee pain since putting the insoles in. So yeah, I just got these ones. They're about four pound 50 and they also stop bad smells as well. So that's a bonus. This is the completely flat barefoot one. Camera will not focus, but you get the point. That actually makes them barefoot. So yeah, happy days. However, the fact that you have to buy insoles on top of the shoes already, kind of ups the price to 25 pound. And the fact that they're not really even trainers or barefoot shoes is gonna bring the rating of this shoe down to a four out of 10 for me. For what you get, it's actually not too bad. As I say, it's a light plimp sole disguised as a trainer. It's got good grip and all you need to do is really change out the insole. And for me, I still will be wearing them for the gym once the insole arrives, but they're not something I would really want to wear out in public, to be honest, because the finger thing. Kind of does go to show that you do get what you pay for and well, you don't even get what you pay for because these aren't exactly barefoot shoes, but barefoot shoes in disguise. But if you're short on money and you want kind of like a cheap trainer that you want to get sweaty and stuff like that, these might be a good option for you. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.